Okay, sorry. Oh! Uh-oh. Ah, got it. Hi, it's the Andy Bird, here to teach you how to squawk right. Now, you may be wondering, Andy, you're the perfect squawking master. Why even send out a tutorial to teach people how to do it? Well, in recent asks and comments, people have been asking me on my personal text messaging, Andy, teach me to squawk. I need to learn from the master. So today in this video, I will be giving you some tips on how to be the best squawker on the face of the earth. First step is to start with your body language. You want to have sort of an upright position, making sure that this part of your body is completely tight, that your diaphragm surges up with your body so that you can perform the right noises. Next, you want to figure out what kind of pitch you want your squawk to be. If you want it to be somewhat of a lower pitch squawk as to not frighten the neighbors, you have your pitch be somewhat lower to the body. It is a full body motion as you see. So when you squawk, it surges upward, like so. Now that is one of my higher pitch squawks. Now for a lower pitch squawk, you want it to be somewhere towards your stomach, leaving the diaphragm somewhere around here. And now for some types of squawks. There are many different types of squawks. The surprise squawk, the walking squawk, The sneaky squawk, the sleepy squawk, and finally, the battle cry squawk, one of my most popular squawks. That is all for this video, but please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Tim Talk Archives, and we hope that this video will get you squawking in no time. I'm Andy Bird, and until next time, keep calm and stay penguin.